Uh, most important thing about my swing is um, tempo. Making sure when I take the club back, I have good slow tempo, and it helps me to finish my backswing and then to accelerate to my target. If I get quick, I never reach the top of my swing, and my, my backswing's shorter than it used to be. So when I get here, if I'm short and quick, I never finish my backswing. And what that does is if you don't finish your backswing, your mind is telling you there's no power. So guess what? You throw everything, shoulders, arms, everything at that shot instead of the motion of driving your legs. Chipping, swinging, putting. I always have to, I always want to just try and push that club back with good tempo, not jerk it back. I think a lot of people have a tendency to pull the club back in their hand instead of having this, your, your hands just a little bit forward of the club so you can push it back. Sometimes their hands are too far back so they pull it back. It's pretty hard to push the club back when you're here. It's hard to unless you get your hands here. So tempo, whenever I, you know, I was in a situation where I'm thinking about the shot, I you know, prepare myself, go through my routine, take my practice swing, you know, come back here, look at my target, visualize, visualize what the shot's gonna look like with the club you've got in your hand. Draw that imaginary line, pick out that spot that's right on my target line. Now I've got my target line, I don't really have to worry anything about tempo, so I get up to it, push the club back, good tempo back, acceleration to the target. So many people get get to where they feel like if they slow down and instead of acceleration, that that's gonna help the ball go straight. Once they start to slow down, that club face starts to open a little bit, might close a little bit, and you never get down the line to your target because of the deceleration of your club head. So you need to always think about good tempo back, accelerate. Same with chipping. <clears throat> Everybody takes that great practice swing when they're hitting the shot. Great, great practice swing when they're chipping, you know, good tempo back, good, good long uh, back swing when they're chipping. And then they get up to it and they get short and fast. So I, when I'm chipping, I think, okay, I'm gonna get up to this. I just took a great practice swing. I'm gonna think tempo back, acceleration. Every time, the same. Make sure I get that club head back. And the thing is, when, when you have a lofted club, when you take the, the club back, good tempo, and slide that club right underneath the ball, that's where you get your elevation of whatever you're chipping with because of the different lofts. So if you get here and you're quick and you try and help it up, that's why you have all these clubs in your bag because they all do something different for you. And if you just make good contact, with the ball, it's gonna get the ball up. And I think a lot of people try and help it up instead of just letting the club do the work for them. And when you accelerate, that happens. Make good contact with the bottom side of the ball at least the last quarter. Make sure that club slides underneath and let the, the club do the work for you.